okay so in this video what I'm going to be doing is just showing you a bug that um, uh, that you get in um, tunnel blink and this is the latest version as of the time of this video as well so I'm just going to download it and sh uh, show you what happens so I'm choosing this latest stable build which is from 25th of October so this is the date for when it was released so I'm just, just opening it up now and I should also mention that it seems that this bug is related to if you uninst if you install tunnel blink and then uninstall it because when I first installed it it was okay but then I removed it and then reinstalled it and that's when the problem happened started to happen Alright, so I'm just going through the so there's no configurations in there. So now what I'm gonna do is move the configuration file on top of the tunnel blink. And so I just do only mean then put in the password and then you get this error, whatever it means and it doesn't matter how many times you can retry a thousand times it's, it's never going to um, do anything and then some of the also quits then we think for an install it, it should just give you the error but I'm not sure why it has to quit so now if you go into library and application support and this is in the root part of the drive and into tunnel blink you'll notice there's an installer temp file which is owned by root or system and what is essentially happening is you'll see when I open the installer log file you can see that it's trying to move the yeah see so it's trying to move that installer temp into the library application support tunnel blink of the user and I presume this is because I that's why when I selected the option to for it's only me but for some reason oh yeah and well it's not even some reason what actually happens is if you go to I'm not sure if I did this in this video yeah I think I did so I should go to library Oh yeah, sorry, and what I'm doing is, so now, yeah, I just can't remember what I did. So there's a way around it, you don't have to actually do anything external to fix it. So, so what the bug is, is that, in preferences, you just have to get rid of the required administrator. But of course, you still require administrator, so that, that doesn't even make sense. Because um, if you see what I mean, so you, you move it on. And so you only mean now it's installed. So I think I see what's going on. So the fact that it worked, the reason why is because Tomoblick is still running as root, I presume. So it seems kind of weird that because obviously it still has to copy the configuration. Well, I don't know. So, so I'm not sure what it is, but essentially what I'm showing is that it works. And it and it um, the configuration can be installed when you um, do it without that check mark. 